today. Fed Chair Jay Powell has some choice words for crypto. He's calling for tighter rules around stable coins. Plus, speaking of crypto, we tell you why the co-creator of Dogecoin won't be betting on Bitcoin anytime soon. And finally, July could be a bust for some of Reddit's favorite stocks. I'm Pippa Stevens, and this is CNBC After Hours. The Dow spent the day bouncing up and down before ending slightly higher, but the S&P and Nasdaq ended in the red. But if you're looking for other assets that had a positive day, well, you can look to gold and the U.S. dollar. They're not exactly exciting assets, but it's good news for certain stable coins, especially during a week in which they've come under fire. Federal Reserve Chair Jay Powell has spent the past two days on Capitol Hill, and he's been calling for tighter restrictions on cryptocurrencies. Mackenzie Segalos can tell us why the U.S. might be eager to tighten the rules around these digital coins. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has been testifying on Capitol Hill this week. And on the topic of cryptocurrencies, the Fed chief was pretty clear. He's no big fan of digital coins, especially stable coins. Now, stable coins, remember, are a type of cryptocurrency pegged to an asset, such as a fiat currency like the US dollar or commodity like gold. This is what makes them less volatile. And these non-governmental digital tokens are gaining traction, both for domestic and international transactions. I'm told that part of the appeal of stablecoins is that the financial sector in the US is one of the most encumbered and heavily surveilled of virtually any Western country. This is what scares central banks like the Fed. Governments in general don't love the idea of a large portion of commercial banking activity flipping over to this largely unregulated world. That's where central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, come into play. More than 85% of central banks around the world are considering launching their own digital versions of their national currencies. The Fed, for example, is considering launching its very own digital dollar. In fact, Powell told the House Financial Services Committee that the country wouldn't need stable coins or cryptocurrencies if there were a digital US dollar, a project that he says is moving forward. But like them or not, central bankers do agree that stable coins are here to stay. Data from the block shows nearly $110 billion in total stable coin supply, and it remains on a swift incline. Ensuring that regulation keeps pace with this growth is a key priority for the Fed. Okay, before we go, let's get to today's numbers round. We'll start with 72. We have one more piece of crypto news to share. You remember the amazing run Dogecoin saw earlier this year? Well, the co-creator gave his perspective on the state of cryptocurrencies via Twitter, and he is not a fan. Specifically, he called out the industry for being controlled by a, quote, powerful cartel of wealthy figures. And to his point, analysis by Glassnode found that 2% of Bitcoin holders own nearly 72% of the wealth. Next, 25. Wealth inequality is also popping up in the labor and housing markets. New data from the National Low Income Housing Coalition shows workers need to bring in around $25 an hour to afford the average two bedroom apartment in the US. For a one bedroom, they need to make about $20 per hour. But the problem is the average hourly employee makes just $18 and change. That means that most full-time hourly workers can't afford rent in any state. And finally, 36. We can't leave without catching you up on meme stocks. Some of Reddit's favorite trades have had a pretty disappointing July. Take AMC, for example. It's fallen around 36% from its highs just this month. It may be a sign that investors are losing interest in these stocks as reality sets in. In some of these companies, they're struggling regardless of how much Reddit loves them. As always, you can follow the moves in your favorite meme stock by going to CNBC.com and downloading the CNBC app. That's it for After Hours. We'll be back here every Tuesday and Thursday, so be sure to catch us then.